Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to do episode 13 of Who Should You Choose, the video series where I go through all of your prior questions and comments in the last video and help you with your hut lineup decisions. Guys, today is Black Friday. All of my sponsors and partners are doing huge sales. I'm just going to touch on that real quick. First, if you ever wanted anything from my merch store, including the new Christmas I Heart Christmas Noobs shirt and hoodie, everything is 20% off in the store using code HST Black Friday. So the link for my merch store is down below. King's Coast, you see me drink it every single Who Should You Choose video. It is the best coffee on the planet. Everything there, also 20% off, no code required. Again, link is down below. Gamer Advantage, the glass, the blue light glasses that I wear pretty much every single day while I'm streaming. If you play video games in excessive amount or you work in front of a monitor or lights, you please get a pair of blue light glasses, guys. It it is amazing how much it will help your headaches or just eyesight in general. And there's a huge code, there is a huge sale that actually stacks with code no sleeves for an extra 10% off. So again, that is down below. Suma Forte, the CBD infused K tape that uh, is starting to become some of the biggest stuff in healthcare for esports and gaming. If you want to check them out, link is down below. All right, guys, let's get into the questions and comments. We'll take a look start down below. And again, I apologize for the delay in between these videos. It is kind of difficult for me to kind of find some time in the morning every single day to do them. And I need to figure out a way to be a little bit better. And that's just not me. So I apologize for everyone. If you want your question answered on the next one, I promise you Monday, you will get the next video. There is a new event coming out today. So or the new the second part of the under 22 event is coming out today. So keep that in mind is a lot of that is going to pertain to this. So um, all right, let's get into it. So we'll start with Brownie uh, Hate Sleeves. I currently have around 52 seasonal collectibles and can open another X Factor pack with them in a couple of days. It'd be my last time I can open them as there will only be 29 days left in the fall season. My question is, should I open another X Factor pack or save up and try and get the 80 open, the 80 to open an Icon pack and hope for Gretzky or Lemieux? I already have Matthews Barzell. Hedman Stamkos ranted on tradable X Factors and tradable McKinnon and McDavid X Factors. So, in my opinion, the best case for me is if I open an X Factor, get McKinnon and McDavid so I can sell the tradable ones, unless you think of a good one I'm missing. I'm not sure how many X Factors is sustainable, though. Also, do you think the Master Set Byram is worth getting it if my decor is Jones, Samuelson, Hedman, McCarr, Hamilton, and Riley? Not sure if it's worth it when I have those three left handed D men. I picked up Doc to get him to 92 for my second line center. Any others worth grabbing? Okay, so long question there, but the TLDR, um, you should be doing the seasonal set, guys, for the X-Factors until you get Matthews, McKinnon, and McDavid. And if you have them tradable, I mean, I just did it in my video uh, on stream. I have I bought McKinnon last uh, about two weeks ago, and then I got him in my seasonal set. That's about three or 400 k that you can get right back in value. So 100%, while if you don't have McDavid or McKinnon untradable and say you have them tradable, 100% do that set. And if you don't have them at all, keep doing it, guys. It is the only real way for free-to-play players to ever have a shot at that McDavid or McKinnon, really. McKinnon's falling in price quite a bit. Uh, you could get him for like five, 600K. But McDavid is just going to be dumb expensive the whole year. So it's the only way you're going to be able to get him. Jordan Boots says, good morning. What's up, boys? Uh, all right, we got Durf here says, hey, Sleeves, keep up the content. I think I needed to, I think I need to replace Makar and maybe some changes up front at the center and left side. What do you think I should do? I've spent some money on the game, but I'm not spending any more. <laughs> Hold strong, brother. <laughs> I have Ray Ferraro and X-Factor Point in my collection. I have 200 coins. Team below. All right, so he's got Pasta, Matthews, McDavid. McKinnon, Doc, Ibo Duchesne. All right, this is a baller squad. Okay, he's 200,000 coins. He's already got Duchesne. Base Panera. Like, <sighs> hmm. Uh, mm. <laughs> Honestly, like you could, it's tough because I, I honestly, in your situation, like I would pro you have McCarr and Hughes. Oh, you have Hughes and Paul Coffey. Oh, dude, you're in the same situation. Okay, so this is so hard for me because Paul Coffey is one of the most difficult cards to recommend and talk about. And I'll give you a quick example. So my team, obviously you guys have seen my God squad. It really can't get much better. 
And I'm at a situation where a bone, these these really high end left handed defensemen come out, Darlene and and Byram, but then you have Paul Coffey, who will upgrade throughout the year, but it's like he won't be more valuable until like February, and at that point it's tough. Like in all honesty, I I think I would probably sell Coffey and get Byram because Byram will have value throughout the whole year pretty much, and he's a bit bigger, only like you know he's six foot one. Outside of that, man, like. The only upgrades you're going to make are McKinnon and Base Panarin. So, like, you're going to save up for and grab the, the McKinnon X Factor, but you can just do that in the seasonal sets, right? Uh, same with Panarin. I wouldn't get Panarin's X Factor, but same kind of situation. Honestly, I'm probably just waiting, but that Paul Coffey one I see down here, I'd probably sell and get Bowen Byram all the way up. All right. Ace Sleeves, loving all the content this year is the squad. Any ideas what I should do next? And what do you think the chances are we're getting a Sandine in this next year set of players? Keep in mind, once Bunting gets upgraded, hopefully, and Tavares gets a better card, I'll be trying to fit them into my lineup. I have a feeling this is a theme team. And it appears kind of. <laughs> it's a lot of Leafs. Okay. Um, well, your team is phenomenal, dude. The... Hmm. <coughs> Excuse me. You have how many cards? What should you do next? I mean, you're kind of... Upgrading, I mean, uh, even Seth Jones, there isn't a, that much of a better right-hander to go out and get. Dude, like, you're, you're kind of just stuck. Not stuck, but, like, there's no real way to, go, like, where I would recommend going. I'm just waiting for the next event. I mean, I would rather have Bowen Byron than this AD... This uh, than your than your Halloween rivals uh, Quinn Hughes, but he's untradeable, so you're gonna just have to wait. I'd probably wait and see, like if Byfield comes out or Jack Hughes comes out, for example. But outside of that, man, I don't know if Lilligren will get one. I think that there will be some, like a couple that are kind of like, oh, okay. Uh, but for the most part, I think it's gonna be Shane Wright, Jack Hughes, uh, Lafreniere, for example. Um, Jamie Drysdale, like kind of like the guaranteed ones, I think. We'll have to wait and see, but I don't know. Lilligren might. What up, Brownie and Aiden? Uh, uh, I love the content. My question is, what should I do next? Where should I improve? I got 60K. I also got Fantasy Raymond and Hagel, and I'm hoping to make them to make the team soon. Yeah, Hagel scored, but like he's, yeah. Those ones, uh, Lu Lucas Raymond might. <clears throat> Wallstrom, he's got Wallstrom, Drysdale, McDavid. Kopitar, Darlene, and Eichel. See, like, I like your squadron. It's just, you've got a lot of, like... This is... You're at the situation now, man, where you have all of the best, like, cards that you... Like, oh, Eichel X-Factor, Barzal X-Factor. I'd probably, in your situation, upgrade Eichel. Put all your focus into upgrading Eichel. Um... Dude, the Jack Hughes is gonna. I, I'm guaranteeing Jack Hughes is one of the new one of the new cards today. You need a left hander. I'd probably go with him when he gets one. Sleeves, what's up, Pat Walsh? Thanks for the advice last week. Ended up being able to grind it out for Duchesne and a few higher end cards. So here's the current squad. Let's go, dude. Guys, heads up by the way, Kairu. If you have not made Kairu, this is the last chance to make him. He got updated to six one. If you didn't see my video, worth it. Like. You're never going to be able to get him and Duchesne after today. When the set ends, you will not. They will They will be over a milli, and you're just not going to be able to. So heads up there, okay? Uh, let's take a look here. He's got Panarin, Matthews, Duchesne, McDavid, Pekka. I finally decided on three extract packs I had left unselected, so that really changed the team. Oh, yeah, okay, there we go. I mean, this is a solid squad, man. Like, I hate my Pekka's card. I don't know what it is. I could not use it. I'm a huge, like, do not like it. You're in a situation, though, where I'd be playing Hut Champs, man. Even if, I don't know how good you are, but even if you can get, like, five wins, get a couple Hut Champs collectibles, and then turn those into power-up collectibles, it's going to help you with your X factors. Like, getting Eichel up as well as um, saving up for... <sighs> your back end's actually pretty good. You need a left-handed winger. You need a left-handed winger next, or even another center... Mm. No, you need a left and a winger next, man. So wait for the new event to drop and then and then see what's available. Should I keep doing the X Factor sets and 20 player set until I pull McDavid, or when should I stop? Keep doing it, man. The price is so low, man, especially the seasonal ones. It's free. You're just logging in. 
Um, I'd be doing that until you get McDavid. If, like I said, unless you're hot rich, there is no way that you're ever going to get X Factor McDavid. So just keep doing it, man. Honestly, I think that it's just you're 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 potentially yeah. King Creations here says you're essentially paying nothing in chance of the best card in the game. He's exactly right. Uh, I'm too lazy to work the auction now, so I just play rival squad battles and run off award sets, and it's way more fun. Dude, I agree. The, the thing that I don't think is discussed enough is that people are like, yo, how do I make so how do I make coins fast? It's like you can't. You have to work the market. And that that's in a game in itself. So if you don't have a ton of time, you know, just play the game, man. If you just play the game, take untradeable rewards and get squad battle rewards, like you're laughing. Like you will get a ton of packs and eventually you'll pull something of value. And even if you don't, you'll get so much that you'll be able to make stuff. So um, just, you know, it's never been more valuable to take untradeable and get double the rewards because of the fact that every, you know, 83 now has value. It's not like, you know, it, an 86 is worth the same as an 81. It's not like that anymore. Maze, my man. Hey, hope you are doing good, man. And let's hope for a cider master set in today's event. I have two questions, one hypothetical and one regarding my team. So regarding my team, should I use Barzal's? Should I use Barzal over X Factor Stamkos? Uh, this question was about a week ago. Not anymore. Sam Coe's got his 89. Very, very good card. Fourth line sins don't matter. Edit. I did I did make Doc, so he's currently on my third line center. And, and on the bench, I have 89 Pool Party and X-Factor Sam Coe's. I would put Sam Coe's back into your lineup. He's one of the best right-handed wingers. Pool Party, yeah, I, I yeah, not really much you can do with him anymore. And I have a hypothetical question. If I, if Cider gets a master set next week, would you say his X-Factor... Would If Cider gets a master would you say his X-Factor since Zegris... Is tease is X Factor. I assume the rest are as well. Is better than Jones. Oh, you're saying if if Cider gets an X Factor, he might. He would probably be one of the best in the game. He would be better than Seth Jones. 100% better than Seth Jones, and probably better than Howie McCarr. Two different players, but six foot four defenseman. If they have 90 speed, that's very valuable. Jamie Eddy says, Ace Sleeves had a couple of weeks off and just getting back to it. Any fly the zone recommendations? I have Vorchek and Kuznetsov to activate it on Barkov. Panthers fans, so keep in mind. Also, which 22 and under 22 players should I upgrade first? Okay. Panarin, Barkov, McDavid. I mean, honestly, fly the zone players, I, off the top of my head, I can't think of any because a lot of them just have distributor, right? So you got to look at that. A lot of the cards, I know Marner, I believe Marner would be the one you're looking for, the X Factor Marner. Um, outside of that, in terms of 22 players, your right-handed wingers... Oh, no, they're both X-Factors. You've got Zegris. You've got Bone Byram. But Bone Byram... Yeah, so you have Jones and Brodeen. You need another defenseman. Wait and see what defensemen come out today. I think that's probably the best play for you to go. And in terms of, like, right-handed wingers, like, you... I mean, you can put Ferraro at center and get... Marner, but that'd be the only one I could think of off the top of my head. Nicholas Lefebvre says, uh, Suzuki, Crosby, McDavid. Only tradables are Hedden, Markstrom, 92 McDavid, and Exec Matthews just chilling in the collection as well. What should I do with my squad? I'm free to play. Okay. Um, X Factor Matthews. Okay. You need right handed wingers, man. So, uh, you could do the seasonal reward set or X Factor set if you have it and try and get. Any of the good righties, Ovechkin, McKinnon, Panarin, Pasta, any of those, because Suzuki's got to be upgraded from. Outside of that, like, you're in a pretty good spot, other than Petrie as your right-handed defenseman. Jamie Drysdale is going to be a 92. He's going to be smaller. You already have him a car, but you can pair him with Hedman, and you're laughing. So I would look for a right-handed winger at the top end that uh, that I would I would replace Suzuki with. That'd be my opinion. Or you could put Suzuki at center and Ferraro on the wing. Honestly, it's probably a better way to go, but I think Ferraro was left-handed, if I remember correctly. I think he'd be better than Kaprizov or Kuznetsov, though, so uh, keep that in mind, my man. Uh, Cameron Jen says, Hey, Sleeves, love the content. Wondering where to go next. I have two power-up collectibles, and I have about 60K. All right, he's got Panarin, Crosby, Duchesne. All right, you have X-Fact... Oh, you have... Okay. You have 86 X Factor Crosby. You need to put all of your collectibles into Crosby. So play play champs if you can, and then put all your X Factor or all of your power up collectibles into Crosby. The rest of your team is pretty solid. Like, I don't know if this Barzal is an X Factor. If he's not, like, you need wingers for sure. So I mean, you, dude, your left handed wingers are in a pretty tough spot. Like, look at some of the team of the week or primetime um, Patty Canes. 
for sure. And do the do the seasonal set. Try and get another X Factor because another X Factor is really going to help you out here. This is a situation where you'd want one. Um, if this is McKinnon, X Factor McKinnon, put him on the wing and find another centerman. You could go Couturier, for example, or Doc if you want to do that set as well. So that's where I would look to focus first. Uh, Ace Leaves, thanks for the content from Maj. Uh, it's been great this year. I have Eichel, Marner, Panarin, X-Factors, all untradeable. McKinnon is upgraded. I have Eichel, Marner, Panarin, X-Factor. McKinnon is great. Where do I upgrade next for left? But who do I upgrade next for left wing? Also, need another center. I have Matthews, X-Factor for line one, but need line two. Hmm. McKinnon is upgraded, but who do I upgrade next for left wing? I mean, that's tough. Eichel, Marner, Panarin, McKinnon, all X-Factors. So your right side is pretty much stuck. Left wing, I mean... Left wing, the 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 high... It's it's funny, because, like, the high end at left wing is really good, but then there's a significant drop. There isn't a lot of great middle-tier guys. Like, Patty Kane is one of the only X-Factors off the top of my head that I really like as a left-handed winger. I also need another center. I have Matthews X Factor line one, but line two is base dry settle. He's not keeping up. Who do I go after? I mean, honestly, X Factor dry settle. Wait until this event. Like, if we get a byfield, guys, that's your that's your new centerman. Honest to God, that's that's who I'm waiting for. All right, guys. So that is gonna do it for today's Who Should You Choose? Again, you want to have notifications on to make sure you get your question read in the next episode as well. Join our Discord, guys. We've got over two thousand Hut players in my Discord. The link is down below. Join that, and we have guys, if you know, if you can't get me to answer your question immediately, we have a huge community that is just answering questions about and talking hut all day long. So make sure you check that out. And all of my Black Friday sales, guys, thank you so much for all of the support. Have a good weekend, guys. Have